Rudy here, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. I've been busy, what with the mining and processing of iron. I've been mining out this entire region of the map of the massive iron deposits. We have over 50 tons of iron ore, and we are constantly refining it into iron so we can make our beautiful metal tiles. And this is all in preparation of going down here and actually making a pump, because we are going to finally take advantage of this geyser. We're going to use it to supplement our water supply. I guess our main plan is to use the geyser water to supply our electrolyzers and our bathroom. Then we'll just have this pool of water that we don't really need for anything else, actually. Just a place to dump our spare water, I suppose. We can use the pump to still uh, su supply our metal refinery with coolant. And then, of course, our bristleberry farm is being supplied entirely based off of purified polluted water with this system that we set up in the previous episode going through the aqua tuner and everything so one random thing that i did off camera is i encased my petroleum generator in a, a walls here because uh i noticed this area was becoming filled with polluted oxygen because of all this polluted water we have everywhere and then this area down here was getting filled with polluted oxygen so my uh, slicksters had no co2 with which to produce crude oil so I just encased a petroleum generator in this room with its own pump. And it's pretty much all carbon dioxide in here. And that's uh, that's all we end up pumping down into this area. So hopefully this entire bottom region will be all carbon dioxide soon enough. Yeah. So we need to get at this geyser water. It should be fairly straightforward. I built a nice uh, long metal pole here so duplicates can get down here much more quickly. Let's just uh, dig a ladder down here. I've also increased our exosuit dock here. We used to have three, now we have five, so more duplicates can get down here for work. And all we'll have to do is just build a pump down here and get some wiring down here. I'll probably continue to mine out this entire area too. There's still a ton of iron and algae. Even though we don't even really need the algae for anything, we can, we can still just have it. I'd like to have it. So what's the priority on all of this? Priority... Let's bump it up to priority 7. There's really nothing else that the duplicates need to be doing. So let's get our liquid pump. So we'll make this out of gold amalgam for the plus 50 C... For the plus 50 degree overheat temperature. Otherwise the pump will just melt if we don't do that. And we'll make the pipes out of abyssalite. Hmm... Yeah, it's going to be tricky navigating the pipes around here somehow. We'll figure something out, though. We always do. And of course, with the exosuit, the duplicates are shielded from the scalding hot water. And FDR is down in the water, enjoying a nice sight. Safe, with, safe within his suit with his big domed head. So let's get some power down here. Let's use our conductive wires. We've been refining a ton of iron. We have, what, 500, 5,000 kilograms of refined iron, I guess. Boom. We can also do, like, we need to do some more cooling down here, I think. Like, uh, when whenever the duplicates come down here to get into exosuits, they get, they get hot and they get unhappy because of it. So we can probably expand our cooling system around here. I guess with that in mind, let us turn off the cooling system to drain it out. And then we can, as soon as those pipes are cleared out, we can make some expansions. Okay, our oil system is sufficiently drained. What are we going to need here? We're going to need some liquid bridges. So we need the input bridge and the output bridge, which will bring the oil back. Let's see, this is going to be tricky. Alright, let's get some epistolite pipes. And bring him down here. So I kind of, I think maybe we can just use, we don't need to use tungsten or wool for my pipes. We might be able to just get away with using obsidian. So I'm going to try that out. Let's bring some obsidian pipes down here. Let's get a liquid bridge. And that'll bring it back. And then of course this way. Yep. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. Hopefully we don't make a mistake. Let's just make all this out of obsidian. Yes, I think we're going to be all right. Let's see, let's go around in here. 
back up through this pipe bridge, and then we are home. Okay, and all we need to do is deconstruct these pipes here. Okay, we can reactivate the oil cooling system now. I'm looking forward to seeing how those uh, obsidian pipes work out. There it goes. Oh, by the way, our oil reservoir is down to minus six degrees Celsius, so this thing is going to keep on getting colder. Well, maybe, maybe with the additional linkages that we've added, it'll start to heat up a bit. Oh wow, this is really working. So we got minus four degrees Celsius oil here going into the exosuit docks. Then it comes out at minus one. So yeah, we are extracting a lot of heat from this. Those obsidian pipes are working out pretty well. We'll check back in on this later, but now let's get back to our geyser project over here. So our pump is in position. So we just need to get this water all the way up to our electrolyzers and to our bathroom. So what we can do is we don't need I think what we'll do is we'll come up over here and across. And then, yeah, that, that'll be perfect. Because then all we need to do is just make some liquid bridges here. We're going to make all this out of abyssalite because we don't want the hot water heating things up. Or else we'll be in hot water. Ah, uh, yes, we'll need a ladder, of course. The ever-wonderful plastic ladders. 50 kilograms a pop. But they're well-made ladders. If you don't build them with enough plastic, they'll just break on you. All right, let's get our abyssalite pipes in there. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna go straight to our electrolyzers and down to the bathrooms. So all we need to do then is deconstruct all of these liquid pipes and spill water all over the floor. That should be good. So now instead of the water coming up this way, it's going to come from over here, go into the electrolyzers, and down into the bathrooms. That'll be perfect. That'll just be wonderful. We, I mean, we were pumping uh, cold water from down here into the latrines, so the latrines are very cold. But now we're going to be pumping in the hot geyser water. 55 degrees Celsius, so that's going to... I mean, the electrolyzers don't care about the input temperature. The output temperature is always around 70 degrees Celsius, so that that's fine. But the bathrooms will heat up because some water gets stored within the structures themselves. So we'll keep an eye on it, but we have our wheeze boards, so we should be fine. And of course, as long as all of our pipes are made out of abyssalite, then no heat will leak into the base from the hot water. Alright, well, it should be interesting to see how all of this changes now that we're pumping in the hot geyser water. I mean, who doesn't want to take a scalding 56 degrees Celsius shower? I think one thing I need to do is insulate these tiles here, because we have these metal tiles here, which is probably going to cause too much heat exchange between this hot area and this hot area. So maybe if we build some abyssalite tiles down here, that could help out. Okay, and we shall see how that works out. Yeah, it is getting a bit cooler down here. That that much is for certain. It's getting a bit more yellowish, as you can maybe tell. I, I don't know. And the bathroom is definitely warming up. Okay, so enough of all of this base nonsense. Let us see about exploiting some more oil resources. So we have this really awesome oil reservoir here, and we can build a oil, an oil an oil well on top of it, which will take, uh, produces, look at that, uh, three kilograms of oil per second and consumes 1,000 grams of water per second. So it wasn't really practical for us to build this before, but now that we have a source of renewable water in the form of this geyser, we should be good. Like, so the geyser produces four kilogram, four kilograms of water per second so you know one fourth of that will go to our oil well now and then of course we have plenty of water left over for going to our electrolyzers and bathroom and that is more than enough we'll be able to utilize even more of these water resources for other things
Alright, so now how the heck do we get to this oil well? I guess we can just cut straight across here. We'll need to build a, a big old tunnel. Let's see. Let's use some of our excellent metal tiles. Let's go over here. And of course, we don't want to use plastic down here because it's way too hot. The plastic will melt at like 70 degrees Celsius. Well, it's only 50, it's only 60 degrees Celsius. You know, it's a bit too close for comfort. So let's not even use plastic at all. All right, this should be an exciting building project. That much is for sure. Here they come, the duplicates ready to work. And Gervillo, the narcoleptic, is asleep on the job, as always. But we love him for it. Today's not a farming day, that's for sure. Today's a building day. Huh, well, look at that. Picasso has got himself stuck on the far shore. Now we need to build this bridge to rescue him. Oh, by the way, it is a 300th cycle. So this is going to be a fantastic party upping the base. But it looks like Picasso isn't going to, going to get to attend. He'll be stuck down here. He's camping overnight, but he's got a suit. You know, you can pee in the suit, so that's fine. Or maybe we'll finish the bridge in time. The cycle is about to end. Uh, yep. Yep, Picasso's going to camp out tonight. He's going to miss the sandwiches and cake. Antoinette made a whole mess of cakes for the big 300 cycle party. And it is a beautiful dawn of cycle 301. Let's get this project finished. Right, so we should probably hook up our plumbing and wires now. So let's see, we got some igneous rock here, and maybe Picasso can make him useful if we make these pipes out of igneous rock. Like, we, we don't care about any sort of temperature exchange. Oh yeah, so we need the water input, right? Yeah, so this will be the water input pipe. Picasso can start on that. And I guess this thing just dumps oil on the floor. So we'll need to make some kind of pump here. Of course we need uh, power lines. We can use our fancy conductive iron. Oh my god, Picasso has just gotten himself into an even worse situation. Okay, yay, we got him out. Perfect. Okay, so the next challenge is actually supplying this beast with water. We need water to extract oil from the oil well, uh, a bit slight pipe. So, I mean, we need to somehow get all the way to our geyser, which is up here, which I guess isn't too bad. We can just dig another big tunnel, which is what we're good at. Right then, so we've drawn up some plans. We're going to go across here and up. I guess we can maybe tackle this from two sides. Yeah, that'll be pretty awesome. So let's set this priority seven. We'll go this way. And then we'll need to go up. All right, this is gonna be a pretty epic project. But I think the duplicates are up to it. It's all for the sake of oil. The oil must flow. The oil must flow. So I wonder how long this is going to take to complete. It is currently cycle 302, so let's see how it goes.
All right, we've finished the epic tunnel project. I'm going to leave one block here so duplicates can't pass because, you know, otherwise it might screw up the duplicate checkpoints. Like if one duplicate comes out of this checkpoint with their suit, comes all the way around, goes back up, and then goes through this checkpoint, they'll just dump their suit on the ground. And uh, that's no good. So we'll leave just one tile here to prevent the duplicates from mixing the suits. Prevent the suit mixing. All right, it is cycle 305 and the final hookup has been complete. Our plumbing is good and we are now pumping liquid water to our oil well. So we'll see how this goes. Not exactly sure what to expect. I've only used an oil well once before and that's when they first came out. So I guess it's just gonna dump the oil on the floor and we'll need to pump it out, which isn't too bad. We can just build another pump, no big deal. We can use the same uh, crude pipe network to bring it back up to the refinery. And we have oil. So we have this pressure will release threshold. Every once in a while, a duplicate needs to come down here and manually release the pressure or something like that. Duplicants, it says here, duplicants will release gas buildup in the well when it exceeds the selected percentage. So I wonder if we're going to get natural gas out of the deal. It says that there's 7.5 kilograms of natural gas in here. I love natural gas, that'd be great. I guess let's dig a little pit here so we can build a pump. And we've secured our new source of oil. Perfect, and it's none too soon because we have run out of petroleum. And although we do have great sources of hydrogen power and duplicate hamster wheel power, we do like to use our petroleum generator. And of course, thankfully, our coal-based backup system is actually kicked on. So we, we are not experiencing that same type of energy crisis that we did so many episodes ago. So we're still powering our electrolyzers and we're still powering all of our other pumps and machinery that we need. It's just worked seamlessly. I'm very, very pleased about that. Aha! Temperature down here is looking pretty good. Alright, patrol the oil. The oil must flow and we are now producing the life-saving petroleum. Now, of course, what's nice about running into the refinery is it produces natural gas, which powers our natural gas generator. So this refinery pretty much produces all the power it needs to sustain itself. Like the refinery and pump is 720 watts of power. The natural gas produces 800 watts of power. Okay, our oil well is close to reaching 75% back pressure. We got over 50 kilograms of natural gas in here, so I'm hoping all that's gonna get released into this room and then we can pump it to our natural gas generator. That would just be perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna build an airlock here in anticipation of such an event. And now we will see what happens, I hope. Ooh, okay, Rommel, you know what to do, I hope. Oh yeah, look at that. All the natural gas is exiting. Look at this. Look at all this freaking natural gas we're getting. Beautiful. I love it. Well, I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up and uh, yeah, leave, leave a message in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I guess in the next episode, maybe we'll do some more work with this oil well room. Have a great day.